Hey guys, in addition to making an amazing update that includes pretty much everything we've asked for and fixes the game, at least all the big areas that we have asked for, they fixed PvP, they fixed um, trading, they fixed the class system, made it way more free to play, they added, you know, free to play orbs, like they just basically, the game is amazing again and even maybe even more amazing than it's ever been because of this last update. In addition to all that, they added a roadmap and they've allowed the community to help pitch in. So you can see here where the devs added this post and really the, to summarize it, it just says uh, the update's coming this weekend, which by the time you're watching this, the update should already be out. And then for the next two weeks on May 7th, it will end and they will basically pick the three winners and the devs will try their best to kind of do the roadmap as the community is wanting. They're still making the game, but they're gonna try the best to implement a lot of our ideas. So um, this is amazing. The winners will be announced on May 14th, and then I guess they'll release their roadmap. So as soon as I saw this, I got really excited and I got together with all of my subscribers on the live stream when I found out about it. And we built a roadmap that I'm really excited about. So we're going to show you guys a few of the highlights from that stream. And then I'm going to give you a few more thoughts about it at the end of this video. Trading, you know, it's nice to be in a non PVP zone. Well, now you've got five different zones. Now it is a little, it may make it a little bit difficult to trade in the sense that if if you're matching with zones that are kind of older, um, you're going to have to work with those people to reset the zone. And you can't go kill them, which is annoying. Let's see if... TKOK1! What? He's back. Ladies and gentlemen, he's back. What? TKK1 is back. Where is he? Okay, I'm going to you, TKK. We're going to... We're going east right now. What a fun appearance. Okay, so we matched with TKK1. This is great. And now we can trade. TKK and I can trade in any of the chests in this zone. So that, that's going to make trading a lot easier. The fact that they have we have five zones to work with now... Oh no. Oh no, I did it too early. I think I won. Did he did I win? Nope. He's still Okay, I'm not gonna kill you now. Good game. Um, Druid's hard though. Honestly, I don't know if TKK1 knows that uh, the Druid fire damage doesn't work anymore when uh, you're like, I don't know if he quit before that, but the fire damage no longer works when you're the Druid. So the fire bow is not really that great for the Druid anymore. It used to be amazing for the Druid, but uh, TKK, did you know that? Did you know the fire bow is not as good on the Druid anymore? Okay, let's start talking about this roadmap, guys, because, oh man, this is so exciting. First things first, Jotunheim, right? I mean, Jotunheim, it says it's the next update. It's got to be on the timeline, so that's going to be the first one. We do Jotunheim. In my mind, when I'm picturing, I want to know your guys' thoughts, when I'm picturing events at Jotunheim, we've got... Ebonite, maybe we've got, you know, some Orcalcum, stuff like that. We've got some, um, some new, you know, some new places to go. But more importantly than places to go and resources to get, we have some new types of event. And so what do you guys think? I think that Jotunheim needs at least one new type of event. And personally, I think the best type of event that Jotunheim could have is a dragon boss, where it's a non-PVP zone. We all show up, um, you know, maybe once every six hours, once every eight hours, we show up. We, you know, 20 people are killing this boss. And, you know, the those of us who have, like, full instigator are kind of carrying the people that are not as good. And um, it would be even cooler if, like, everyone could revive anyone. You don't have to have family members, but that may be too hard on the programming. So I would say, you know, just having a boss, we all fight it. 
when the boss dies, we all get something in our inbox, you know, say, hey, you won. Great. Thanks for helping participating. Then the dragon opens like this, like the lair becomes available. And, uh, and maybe it's available right away. I don't know. But the, the PvP teams that want to do PvP then go into the lair and it's going to be like a giant's treasure um, area where, you know, the teams show up in four different areas and, you know, you know what teams you're going up against and what gear they're going to wear because you just saw them, you know, you just fought in the teamwork. <laughs> you fought the dragon together and those rewards are in your inbox so you don't have to worry about losing them, but you have this you know, this awesome, you know, you just had this interaction with them and then you go in and you, and you fight. So that, that's my opinion, what they should do with Jotunheim. And it doesn't have to be the dragon. I think the dragon's a really cool idea. You know, you don't need to change a lot about Frostborn. They already balanced it pretty well. Um, but just make a small tweak here and there. And really the, the Ice Mage is the only one I would think that they need to change right now. It's the only one that we're all like definitely the weakest. Maybe the Berserk, but honestly, a lot of people use the Berserk. It is a really good PvE class, so really, yeah, I'd say the Ice Mage is the only thing that needs to be tweaked balance-wise. I, I think I just came into something brilliant. Um, we've got the Sanctum of Thor. We've got, um, you know, it's a it's a, a new zone, you know, and like a new Sanctum. It has all the beauty of the Sanctum of Odin, right? The Sanctum of Odin is beautiful. It's It's dynamic. It is co-op, um, co-op gameplay at its finest, right? Um, so imagine, imagine going into, so imagine we're in the Sanctum of Thor right now. We go in, there's maybe lightning everywhere, and instead of having easy versus standard, instead of that you have easy, which is guaranteed it's the same challenge you know it's the same difficult challenge and it's two or three teams i'm not sure if it should be two or three teams everyone is forced into non-aggressive mode okay so it, it's 12 people working together eight people working together standard will be you have the option you know they could betray you and uh and then maybe the hardest one will be guaranteed like you were forced into aggressive mode um <laughs> which would be crazy because people would have to try to complete the sanctum while fighting against that other team you'd have to really establish your dominance before moving on in the sanctum and uh <laughs> it'd be kind of crazy but it'd be funny so okay but i don't know let me um I don't know if that should be the second one. The Sanctum of Thor is is pretty complicated concept. Um, I'm thinking that should be this one, maybe. Um, maybe. Um, maybe even this one. It's it's such a complicated concept. I really don't want to, you know, I don't want it to be too early. I want them to be able to do a good job. So, I'm not sure yet. Uh, yes, a battle arena is definitely a good idea. Honestly, that's what it is. That, you just nailed it. So we got Jotunheim here, and it's got a dragon boss. It's got an ice giant boss. It's got new resources. It's got new um, a new type of event, which like maybe the dragon boss or the ice giant boss. It's a new type of event, a new type of style of playing. And then in number two... Uh, we've got an arena. That's exactly what we need. This arena, you can do matchmaking, uh, PvP. Um, I really liked what one guy's idea was where you have... Uh, there's there's non-friendly PvP where you can actually keep stuff. And that can just happen anyways. You just matchmake it. You just pick like, I want to do green gear as top, blue gear as top, purple gear as top. And, um, and then you matchmake, you fight it out. And if you win, then you get to take all their gear home. It's just basically coordinated PvP. But then there's also a friendly PvP section that is actually a tournament or um, to where you do it and you don't take their stuff, but you get points in the tournament and you can rank up higher and higher. 
and and then I also think that they should make it to where you could do like a custom room, right? So like uh, you could play against your own teammates. You know, me and Nevo could say, hey, let's let's do a custom room. You know, you and I, you versus me. You know, especially when he's getting feeling all crazy, we go and we do some PvP together as a teammate. Um, or you could do like you could do a custom room where it's like I want three versus three or whatever you you basically you create a custom room you invite people by their i by their name and they join up and then you guys enter the zone and do it so that would be the arena and then the third one is the the shipping routes and having that new type of event that we go off and do uh that, that feels like um Either it's Battle Royale or it's some kind of other type of event. That is, I'm going to put more work into it, but that's the roadmap I'm thinking right now. And I think with the arena, they should add a friends list. Ultimately, the way they fix trading and PvP is by making it to where it's easy for us to match with each other. So now there are five zones. This zone is only by yourself and with your family. You cannot match with other people. But... All of the other zones are now um, PVE co-op with multi-families. So it's very easy to match with people. You got five zones to do it, but you also have four days. For every time you raid, you have four days before the next one. So it's a four day minimum, and then you can get the free orbs to extend that. So it's just amazing because if you want to go on a vacation, you can save up a ton of orbs. Orbs are personal. I think it's good that orbs are personal. One of the few items that I think should be a personal item are orbs. And and not to mention, you can get with a team and y'all can split up and all do Odins. All get orbs. Four times as many orbs. So in reality, if you were an intense team, you could actually get to the point where y'all never, ever had to raid. Ever. They added more life to the game. I, they just pretty much fixed everything. I, I forget what I've already said. Uh, the Hidden Changes video is coming out today. So you guys will get to see all of the changes in one place. We are making, the devs allowed us to make a community roadmap. And they are going to consider it. They just fixed the game and now they're going to create, allow us to make a roadmap. So... I'm gonna zoom in on this though, because I don't think y'all can see. All right. Oh man, dude, did you see the thing where we get to add this, uh, the new community roadmap? Yeah, I've seen that, that's pretty cool actually. It is so cool, I can't believe the devs are doing this. This is this is such a, a huge change for Frostborn. But they said about something like sci-fi stories or something, but even if you want to write that, there's not enough space in my opinion, like, it's only little. Wait, what were we supposed to do? For example, if you want to write a full patch note thing, you don't have space for it. Oh, we're supposed to add patch notes? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, for Jotunheim, um... I mean, this is a lot, honestly, if we had new resources, new... Uh, new enemies. Okay, obviously new locations. I don't even know if I need to mention that, but whatever. We'll, we'll put that in there. Um, those are all... These all three are kind of all together, right? New locations, new resources, new... Dragon boss. Doesn't have to be done yet. It just has to be, like, teased. And then the ice giant boss... Ice giant boss. Yeah, I don't know. And then All someone right. mentioned a new, like, temper. I mean, this a new camp. We'll say one hour long. All right. So the battle arena will have three main categories. We're gonna have um, PVP. Um, okay, we're gonna have. 1v1, 2v2, and 4v4. Uh, we're going to have 
green gear. What if two gold bars for a hundred silver coins? I like that, RD Knight. That's a good idea right there. Green, blue, or purple gear. So basically the idea is that you would pick friendly PVP for a tournament points. <laughs> <laughs> it's too too long. Um, we'll make this smaller so that it fits. Okay, and then uh, custom rooms. Custom rooms is the coolest idea. I mean, all of this is a cool idea in my opinion, but the idea, why isn't this working? I think this is good right here. This is a lot of options. The custom room. Um, invite by AD. I think that this should. Um, I want to put a note in here. I want to. I want to put another note in here that you can in also invite uh, family members. How do I do this succinctly? I want to put includes. Is there an abbreviation for includes? Awen, is there an abbreviation for includes? Mm, I don't think so. Uh, family. We are now moving on to, I mean, I love all of these ideas, honestly. Uh, adventures, basically the whole point of this, the main point of this will be multi-family gameplay. That would be the, that would be the, the heart of the shipping route stuff. And then I'm just gonna put zone capture games. They don't have to do all of this. I, just any of them would be amazing, right? I mean, all right. And then the Sanctum of Thor is definitely one that I've been particularly excited about. All right, PVP Sanctum, easy mode. Two to three families. All right, what do you guys think about this? This timeline, this community roadmap? Like, do y'all like it? Do y'all think I thought through it all? Or are y'all thinking, no, you, you really need, um, you're missing something? Because, you know, I, I want to I wanna win, but I also, I care about you guys getting good representation okay guys so that's the roadmap it includes you know jotunheim which we already know is the next update it has the new locations new resources new enemies these are all kind of wrapped in together but then i threw in a few other ideas that i thought maybe they could implement or maybe not implement right away but maybe just put a location in there that is a teaser for what is to come and i really think a dragon boss like 20 players versus a boss would be a really fun event. It'd be very different than what anything else we have in Frostborn, which would make it have that that feel maybe once every six hours. Um, an ice giant boss. I actually don't have any vision for what that would look like, but you know something that could drop that key to um, the Hell Citadel and kind of get us that one step closer to it. Uh, a new PvP camp event. This is a one that came up in the live stream that I thought was interesting. This idea that we go to a location, maybe it's an hour long event and you build a base in the PVP zone and, and you're trying to build stuff, gather resources, build stuff all while you could get eliminated by, you know, an enemy team. And then of course, new weapons and items that kind of comes with the new resources and the new locations and all that stuff. 
Then in the next one, the battle arena is something that a lot of us want. I think it should be the next update after Jotunheim. You know, you know, one v one, two versus two, four versus four. They can even add a three versus three if they want to. It depends, I guess, how many people are playing the game. Um, but then I think they should make it to where you can choose green, blue, or purple gear, um, and that be the max. You know, you you can obviously wear green gear to a purple gear fight, but you can't wear purple gear to a green gear fight. And so you pick the max. People can gear up as much as they want with that level of gear. Um, and then you've got normal PvP for gear. Basically, you gear up, you fight, and then whoever wins gets your gear, just like normal PvP in Frostborn. But then they should have a different version, which is friendly PvP. You you lose and you don't lose your gear. Your gear um, maybe loses durability. I don't know. Honestly, I personally don't think it should, but even if it did, that's fine. But... Um, but that would be for tournament points, and that way they could have a tournament and a leaderboard, um, and that would just be really awesome for Frostborn to have that friendly competition. Um, and people could keep competing if it was friendly PvP because they wouldn't be losing their gear, and they could keep trying harder and harder and keep trying to rank up in those points. And then custom rooms. The idea of being able to just create a room of saying, I want it to be three versus three or you know, 3v3v3 or whatever the custom room is and then you invite people by their player ID. Kind of like our families, how we invite people into the different slots in our family. And you'd be able to, in this scenario, invite from the ID of someone of your family. So you could actually do some PvP. You could do 1v1 with your teammate who is your best friend and you would never actually want, like, y'all are going to be the family, you know, but you want to do PvP with them just to hone your skills or just to see just to have fun the custom rooms would allow you to do that and then a new class you know i know that the devs are already thinking about adding new classes so this would be a good time to add a new class and then earning silver in tournaments because silver is one of the big problems with frostborn right now free-to-play players just can't get enough of it and so the idea that you would have participation rewards where you get silver maybe a daily allotment that if you did a certain amount of pvp in a day you would get your maximum amount of silver and then the rewards on top of that don't necessarily have to be silver but it would be you'd be a way to earn silver after that we've got the shipping routes so we've got you know this is for multi-family gameplay you got multiple families that's kind of how they're already pitching the shipping routes you get 12 people you go to a location and then there's a new thing to do whether and and personally i think the best thing would be have different events like um, you know, this certain island has this mystical element to it and you got to collect the certain runes or, or it ends up essentially being a certain type of game type. Like, you know, oh, you go to this island and, you know, it's where immortals try to compete for the king of the island and it's really just battle royale. And, uh, and so you, you do that or, or you do like capture the flag. Basically, they would make it a Norse mythology theme, but it would essentially be battle royale, capture the flag, control point games, MOBA, base defense, any of those awesome games that we already like those game types, we'd get to experience it from the Frostborn world of having the same skills, we'd keep the same classes that we have, all of that stuff. I mean, imagine battle royale where you go in and you're getting gear as you go but you still have the classes you have and it would really motivate you to get more level two classes. And so that's the third one. And then the last one is the Sanctum of Thor. This is something I'm particularly excited about. I don't know, you guys could see maybe on the stream that maybe they weren't as excited about it as I was, but I'm really excited about this. The idea of a PVP Sanctum, two to three families that go into, the sanct into a Sanctum, kind of like Odin's, but harder. And, um, and in easy mode, everyone's in non-aggressive, okay? So you get some random people you're running with. Um, maybe they make it to where it's three teams, so it's like, um, you know, 12 people can be there, but they make it only twice as hard as Odin's. So, because you gotta factor in that people aren't gonna work very well together. And, um, and then you've got, and so easy mode is not really PvP, it's, it's kind of a PvE, but, you know, you've, you gotta still deal with people you don't know that well. And then you got standard version, which is aggressive optional. And um, and maybe on easy mode, you could also pick, like you could actually invite another team to do the Sanctum of Thor with you. I don't know. 
Uh, and then you got standard mode, which is, you know, the aggressive optional. This is where it'd be cool to be, like you can do it, maybe you can still invite a team with you. you can do it in non-PVP, but that team could also betray you. And so you get better loot, but you know, you're always kind of on edge. Like, are they gonna switch to aggressive mode and then we're gonna have to fight it out? That would be awkward and annoying. And so, and then hard mode is like aggressive only. Like it's just set into aggressive. Point is hard mode, like you're essentially going to have to not only take on a sanctum that is twice as difficult as the sanctum of Odin, but meanwhile, you are also going to have to be beaten down, beating down the opposing teams that just going to keep coming back until you, you know, you beat them down, you take all their gear, and eventually they'll be like, okay, we're going to leave you alone. And then, and then you have to complete the challenge by yourself, just your team, which is going to be a pretty hard challenge. Uh, and then, of course, if we did this, you'd want new weapons. We'd want to add those legendary weapons that, you know, we know are coming someday. Uh, and legendary gear, legendary items, making the Sanctum of Thor that pinnacle of trying to reach, you know, but you'd have to, it'd be really hard to get that stuff. So that's it. That's the roadmap that I submitted. If you guys uh, want to submit your own roadmap or if you want to vote on this roadmap or other people's, I have put a link to that Facebook post in the pin post of this video. Go click on that link. If you don't have Facebook, I'm sorry. That's just where the devs are doing it. But Click on that link, go vote on the roadmaps that you like. Uh, this is awesome. The devs have already fixed the game and now we can only go great places together. So I could not be happier with the devs. All right, guys, I'll see you next time.